Hey guys, what's happening? So if you've been watching my videos and you saw me working on this uh, CNC machine, you might have wondered like what this is. Well, this is my air blowing system that I designed. Um, I did a couple different revisions of it, but <clears throat> so this thing actually definitely improves. You know, if you're going to be cutting any sort of aluminum or any, actually anything, you want to blow the chips out of the cutting path. You don't want to recut the chips again, especially for aluminum. Aluminum will actually gum up. That's actually what creates part of the gumming up in the bits. So yeah, it's critical to get some kind of air in there. But uh, yeah, I designed this early on. It was like one of the first things I designed was this air, air system. You know, the cable chain thing here and here. And my original design, um, well, this actually would work with the actual cheaper, the 3018 printers. I actually use a different kind of uh, uh, spindle motor. So that actually would work fine. But on mine, because it's so close here, um, it actually would rub into here. So that's why I designed this other top which mounts directly to the top of the uh, stepper, the Z-stepper. So yeah, uh, yeah. so far it's working pretty good. I mean, I do actually have coolant if I want to actually have some coolant mist, and I'll, I'll flip the, the CNC around because I can see it, how I wired it in. But So my original idea was to use this border here and have it controlled by a MOSFET. Um, but the problem is my spindle is 24 volts, and this is a 12-volt system. But there's no internal regulator that steps it down to 12 volts. So, a lot of my accessories are 12 volts. Like this is 12 volts, my pneumatic air control valve, and uh, my lights that are on there, my Cobb LEDs uh, are 12 volt. So if you see this, I designed this whole containment system. So if you, uh, I put a link down below on my Thingiverse page with how this whole thing is integrated together. But that's actually the stock woodpecker board right there. And uh, the problem with that, this board is it doesn't actually have an A3 pin. So I can't control uh, I mean, there is an A3 pin on the actual processor, but it's not pinned out to the motherboard. So I can't actually run like a MOSFET to control the uh, pneumatic control valve here. So I had to create like a manual setup here with that little push button. So let me show you this real fast. The cool thing about this, wood, the, the benefit of the woodpecker board is it has a 24, 24 volt input, but then there's also a uh, voltage regulator that, that steps it down to 12 volts and then to 5 volts. So that's how I'm able to break off I broke off, uh, I created this little boxer here. <laughs> um, it's just three connectors uh, glued together. I'll upload it on my Thingiverse page too if you want it. Um, so it's kind of like a splitter. So it takes 12 volts from the motherboard, uh, right here, this little red wire, and then it allows me to connect uh, three different devices. So for me, I have two LEDs, and this uh, the other wire goes over here and controls a pneumatic air valve. And that's where I hook up the compressor, right there. Um, but here's the coolant bottle. I haven't actually used it yet. I, have, I don't, haven't had a need to, but I do actually have the option for coolant. And, um, you know, I, this is actually some kind of, I think it's a shampoo bottle. Um, but yeah, if I wanted to actually create coolant, then I could do that. But one of the problems with the coolant I've seen is that it, it doesn't blow the flakes, but it keeps the flakes in place. <laughs> so it almost keeps the, it, 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 like with the air, it shoots the flakes and, and blows into my containment system. But whereas the coolant, it wants to keep them in the cutting pan channel, it prevents them from blowing away. So that's why I haven't used it yet. Like I, I, don't, I don't think it's necessary for cutting aluminum. And you definitely don't want to do it on wood because it's, you know, you're gonna be, the wood's going to be absorbing the water. Um, so yeah, I kind of like just the air because it blows the flakes away. All right, so yeah, and then I, I created this. This on my thing is page two. So <clears throat> you can either make it part of the containment system, or you can screw this off and screw it to like a wood backboard or whatever. But yeah, it actually works awesome. Um, like I said, eventually I will be probably controlling it from Marlin with a different control board because eventually I'm going to upgrade the spin on this thing, and it's not going to be part of the control board anymore. Um, just because you can't send enough current through these these little gerbil boards. You know, so I'm going to get probably like a 110 volt, like, you know, 800 watt motor or something, 48 volt, who knows. But All right, so I do have the air compressor connected right now, and the coupler is a little bit leaky. So I'd probably get a new coupler for that. Let me hook up the 24 volts to it. I'll show you how it works. All right. All right, so to turn this on, I just have to, it's just, a, it's just basically a switch. And it works pretty good. So if you weren't wondering how to wire this up and do this, um, this is how I did it. You know, the pneumatic air control valve. I'll put links where you can get all this stuff, but it's 
you know, you can, my cable chain, my containment system, I'll put all those buttons on there. On off, on off. I kind of do actually like the switch. You know, I don't have to deal, I don't have to log into Gerbil to do it. You know, or my uh, software. But, pretty cool. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. So if you have one of these 318 CNC's, um, you know, this this works. It's pretty good. Um, but I'll, I'll put up to both uh, adapters, depending on what uh, 3018 you have. So, all right, cool.